get your butternut squash cut it chop it and there you go today we're making chapati out of butternut squash i have steamed my butternut squash and it's waiting to get mixed up as you can see it's still steaming so i'm gonna let it sit for a bit to cool down um, i got this recipe from one of my friends and youtube friends and one of my family uh, she's got a youtube channel check it out it's queen agnes's lifestyle and she used a different recipe to mine she used a pumpkin i'm using butternut squash so i hope even mine turns out as good as hers i don't have pumpkin so i'm using butternut squash so stay tuned guys i am going to mash my butternut squash it is cooled down like so i'm using a potato masher but you can use whatever you've got you can use a fork whatever is easy for you really mash it till you're happy with the consistency i love butternut squash i could even eat this you can even eat this as mash it's much healthier than the potatoes mm. i can eat it like this but i'm making chapati so i'll keep it for chapati after doing that i'm going to put my flour i'm not measuring i've already washed my hands of course I'm not measuring and I'm not putting any water. I'm just going to go in. Um, the butternut squash is sweet enough. But if you want, you can put some sugar. Make it a little bit sweet. Or even put some salt if you want a savory taste. I'm not going to put water. There's no need because the butternut squash has got its own water. So I'm going to mix until I'm happy with the consistency. Keep putting the um, flour until you're happy. It's nowhere near ready. So our chapati dough has been sitting for five minutes and it's ready to prepare. It's good. Can you see how yellow it looks, guys? I love it. So I'm just spreading it and then we'll put a little bit of oil and then portion it. Put some oil of your choice. And make sure all corners are covered. Put it in your favorite chips. I'm trying not to make very big chapatis. So I'm rolling. As you can see, guys, I've already rolled. 
some and I'm almost done. I've had to cover it so that my dough doesn't get dry while I'm preparing because otherwise it won't be nice and fresh. So I've covered it with a cling film. Roll out one at a time, put in your pan without putting oil. So you can see that it's bringing some little bit of bubbles. You can turn it now. Yeah, that's perfect. Mm. And then and now you can put the oil and circulate it, you know. I don't like using too much oil, but oil is okay actually, as long as you're using olive oil, it's not too bad. But don't smother it in oil. Then you turn that side to cook. And while doing that, you do this side as well. Remember, I haven't put this I haven't put oil on this side. Make sure the fire is not too much because you don't want to burn it. These chapatis are really, really nice with a cup of tea, with your favorite beverage. You can also have it with food. You can make it a snack on the side. And you can also have it as a dessert <laughs> or a side dish. With your main meal, you can have it with sautéed beans or stew, your favorite soup or your favorite sauce. It just goes with everything. And chapatis are very, very popular in Uganda. Oh my, we love chapati. In fact, most East African countries love chapati. Kenya, Tanzania, you know, they eat a lot of chapati as well. And then... After this, you make sure that you put it somewhere nice and warm, as you can see. Don't leave it standing there without covering, because otherwise it will get dry. And then carry on with the rest of them. Our chapati, our butternut squash chapati is ready. And it's very nice and soft. I can't wait to tuck in. You see, I can even take tear it with one hand. Mm. That is going to taste so good with stew. Guys, let me know when you make this recipe. Let me know how you get on. And send me or tag me on Instagram. Zanet Masika is my name on Instagram. And Facebook, Zanet Masika as well. So I hope to see you soon, guys. Thank you so much for being loyal to zanzanlife.me. And see you in my next video. Mwah.